。现在呢，我准备出发了，啊，去办一件很多吉普牧马人车主到了一定程度都会办的事儿。要去办什么事儿呢？嘿嘿。好的，现在呢已经来到了 Enrico's Differential， 啊、呃，准备坐我 Regian 的地方，大家看看。当然了，现在看不出什么东西，呃，但是呢，希望通过重新调整轴比之后呢，呃，吉普开起来更像吉普一点。呃，这个话题挺有意思的，一回头呢跟大家细讲。先去呢找 Enrico 吧。Tire size. So what okay. you do? Here is the the, the the first three for the tire size. Okay. Go down, down, up, down, down, up, and then you are 32. Okay. So you go. Next one is up, okay. down, 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 and then it'll give you if you look carefully. Point. Zero two five point five point. So you are point zero. So now. Oh. Okay. So look at that. Dirty. Okay. So now when you do this, key off. Okay. Plug in. Ignition on. Now start. Honk on. Pull it out. Turn it back on. And turn it off. Now you recalibrate it. Now your tire size is set for the speedometer. It's powerful. The three, two, one should never be an option. Three, seven, threes is the most ideal ratio with stock tires. And then you know you proceed from there. The larger the tire, the larger the, the the bigger the adjustment and ratio. So why uh, differential is important? R the right gear ratio is important. Well, every every manufacturer engineers um, your your particular ratio is engineered to produce a certain amount of power, mm. your engine speed at an optimal RPM. So typically, on a six cylinder, anywhere between twenty two to twenty five hundred RPM is where you'd like to see your RPM sitting at an at a speed that you're likely to be driving. The faster you go on the highway. The higher the resistance, and so if you don't have the right torque, if your engine is not producing torque at the right RPM, then you compensate by pushing the gas more.、Mm. And all this does is waste gas, and it doesn't have the effect that you want. You're trying to generate torque in the torque converter,、mm. or generate it by producing extra power. So ideally, you're going to have better all performance,、uh, matching. The, if you will, the intended engineering, that is most optimal、okay. for the whole vehicle. So ratio changes are just a way to making certain that the engine is sitting where you want it to be sitting at a certain speed. Which this, what this means is that although you haven't changed your gear ratios, you have changed the ratio.、Uh, so many people, especially new Jeep Wrangler owners, yeah, want to do regearing, but we heard terrible things about them. We heard good things. What are the pros and cons, and why we want to do the regearing at a shop? Such as yours. Okay, so there's a couple things here. <clears throat> it's true that my job is specialized, but it's not rocket science. If you know something, you know something. If you don't know something, you have to guess. Guessing is just not a great way to do a differential job. Some jobs are a little bit more tolerant.、Mm. So, for example, if you're bolting something on and off, I mean, if you don't have the pre precise torque specs, more or less, you're going to do okay.、But、with gear ratios, especially with setting up ring opinions, you don't get close. It's like math. You don't get you don't get marks for close.、Mm. You get fail. Okay. Um, bad jobs will always turn tires. So if you go to a, no, no, I don't know, just say you go to、mm. a person who doesn't know what he's doing and he bolts it together and it, it'll turn tires, but it's going to make noise、mm. and it will and it won't last the same amount of time. Too much preload on the pinion or inex or a lack of preload, all these other things, all these variables will effectively draw away from the、um, longevity of the differential.、Mm -hmm. And、um, so. There's a whole bunch of things going on, but the reason why people have bad experiences is that I think some people 
underestimate what's involved and they assume too much. Oh yeah. So what we do here is a little bit differently. Um, what we do here is uh, we own all the inventory in North America, right? Meaning all the genuine, all the, all the gear sets, including yours, are all genuine gears. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, and we like genuine gears, meaning the ones that are made by Dana, because Dana has engineered the product to perform. And we're not in the business of excuses. And so that means that if I'm going to put out a product, I don't want to be, I know I'm not the weak link, so mm. I need the product to be as good as me. I don't have time to deal, uh, more or less, some of the, most of the aftermarket product is decent. Mm -hmm. It is. But some of, the, some of the OE stuff is just better. And we're not in the business of doing okay, we're doing the business of doing excellent. The work that I, what I put in your vehicle as an example is better than what came out of the manufacturer. Nice. The setup is better than what it came out in the manufacturer. Nice. For sure. That's the whole purpose, right? <clears throat> Why not? Cool. Uh, so final question, uh, maybe a little bit about your background. My background? Um, and your shop. Sure. My background is my dad of four. I was a stay-at-home dad. I learned my business early when I was uh, starting off in a shop in a garage, building out uh, race car diffs for people. Mm. And uh, I was taking care of my children and I had a side business. My children eventually got older. They got into kindergarten. And I was free to do a little more work. And my business evolved because my customers appreciated the extra attention I put into to the work that I did. And the reputation, like all good reputations, grow. Yeah. And today in 2017, word of mouth with Google oh, and yeah. everything else is like steroids. Mm. It's not like before. You don't get away with um, a Yellow Pages ad. By the way, you... You have five star yeah. Google that's So the thing about five star reviews, I tell people is that it's just a matter of time before someone's mal malicious and mischievous and wants to go out there and do something. But what a five star review tells you, or even something higher, is that there are, it's not that I have happy customers. Everybody has happy customers. Qu the more, the more, the, the, but the detail is I don't have unhappy customers. And that relationship- Because I trust important. my friend, right? Well, and you yeah. trust their experiences, <laughs> right? We agree on something and it's done. And it, you, you'll forget about me. You, you, you'll you be buying another Jeep and be like, oh, that guy, Enrico, because you're not gonna have a problem. Yep. And if you do have a problem, regrettably, I'll take care of it. It's not your problem, it's my problem. Nice. Thank you so much. Okay. There you go for taking the Pleasure. time. Thanks. I'm gonna see you a lot.